Today on the channel, we take a trip to Death Valley, hot this time of year, to visit The Undertaker Ultimate Edition from Mattel. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today, coming at you from Death Valley, we've got The Undertaker. Uh, easily one of the Mount Rushmore wrestlers for many, many people out there all around the world. One of the most popular wrestlers of all time and one of the most toyetic wrestlers of all time. There's been so many wrestling figures of The Undertaker over the years, it'll make your head spin. Uh, I'll put that to the bank right away. But The Undertaker, obviously a favorite for many people. I always get a lot of hate from people that when I say that this version of Undertaker, I shouldn't say this version, but Dead Man Undertaker, I was always a biker taker guy, and I loved Mean Mark Callis back in the day. So it was always a little strange for me, uh, being a kid, knowing Mean Mark Callis, being a Mean Mark Callis fan, that dreaded heart punch, the skyscrapers, then him coming to the WWE where most kids my age did not know who it was. It was a new character to them. I said, what's me, Mark, uh, an Undertaker for now? That just seemed weird. And I always say that kind of felt like it ruined my Undertaker fandom. Uh, I think if I didn't know him as me, Mark, before... I would have probably been all in on The Undertaker, but for whatever reason, it didn't work for me. Then when he went to The Underbiker, uh, business picked up for me. I really enjoyed that character a lot. I know some people didn't, uh, but I will say, as far as Dead Man Undertaker goes, this is probably my favorite incarnation. I didn't like the big tie and top hat and the big long gloves. Uh, just because of the reasons I told you guys just a second ago. But this Undertaker with the torches and kind of the devil, more devilish aspect to the Undertaker, the more heavy metal Undertaker, was really, as far as this kind of incarnation of Undertaker, was my favorite. So I'm happy we get an Ultimate Edition here. Uh, this has kind of been a missing one, and we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it, and we'll compare it to another figure. And it's hard to figure out what to even compare this to, as we've had so many Undertakers over the years. But probably one of the best Undertaker figures of all time we'll compare that one to. Uh, so we'll see. But first, let's take a look at the packaging like we always do. And we know this Ultimate Edition packaging. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. But it's got the white border. It is like a shoebox, as we know. It does open up. We know these Ultimate Editions, very valuable. Uh, it seems like when they're gone, and once they're gone, you can't get them at the ringside collectibles, wrestling figure collector shops, Amazons, uh, Targets of the World, wherever you buy them at. Uh, once you can no longer get these, they start shooting in value. And a guy like The Undertaker or Kane, his uh, pack mate, those two are going to hold their value. They're going to skyrocket eventually. So get them now or forever. Hold your peace, but just don't rest in peace when you do it. But you got Taker here. You got his uh, big robe there. Always cool to get a robe with Taker. You got the figure, of course. You got extra heads. Oh, I was going to say, do we have extra hands? And we do have extra hands down there, so that's good. We got extra hands with Taker. Hopefully one of those hands is a fisted hand. You guys know that's my gripe lately. It's, that's deep in my craw right now. Uh, but you got the Ultimate Edition logo, of course. You got a glamour shot of the Taker on the side. You got his name on the other side. Nothing fun up here. Warnings down there. And on the back, you got the figure glamour shot and an action glamour shot. The best of both worlds. Fabulous packaging here. You got the tail of the tape. You got a blurb. Uh, not much more Kyle would ever want. The only other thing I think you could add to this back packaging is maybe a little picture of Kane so people know to look for the Kane as well. But they really cover all the bases, and that's what I want on my action figures. You see my reviews. I'm always always a little judgmental on the backs of these packages, and rightfully so if you ask me. But let's read the back of the old Taker. Undertaker, six foot ten from Death Valley. Finisher, the Tombstone, career highlight, WWE champion. Star who defined WWE for exactly three decades. That's 30 years for you keep track at home. Undertaker spent his career taking souls and digging holes. Oh, love it. Uh, the dead man commanded respect and fear using mystical mind games before he destroyed his victims. After all, anyone going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the phenom would soon rest in peace. And Teddy Long used to make people go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker all the time. Let's open him up here. Always a million pieces of tape, so I pre-cut everything except that one so it would stay together. But let's see what we got going on with the old Taker. What's it say here? 
You can't hide from the dead man. It almost looks like we're in a coffin here too. Very fitting. Uh, I'd love to see like a limited edition release with a special black and like silver ultimate edition instead of the red and white. Make it black and silver. Uh, put this figure as a limited edition one. That would be something kind of cool. Uh, and it says rest in peace on the other side. So always got those little Easter egg sayings here. If I don't know if you've noticed those on some of these ultimate editions over the year. Years, I should say at this point. There it is. Packaging off to the side. See you later. All right. Plastic prison time. And once again, well, we got a fist, I think. Ooh, I got something. We got something interesting here. All right. There's plastic prison. The Undertaker. That's where we really get to know the Undertaker in the plastic prison. And it, the plastic is a little foggy here. It's an interesting fog to it going on. So I don't know what's up with that. But like I said, we get two extra sets of hands. We get two heads and we get his jacket. Pull it all out. Pop those heads out. Now, you hardcore Undertaker fans out there, you're going to need to buy three of these so you can display each head. That's the way I see it. If this is Ultimate Warrior and he had three heads, you know I'm buying three of these. Uh-oh, just like uh, he is buckled in like a Marvel Select or a McFarlane Toys figure. Always surprising. We're not used to that with our Mattels always. Good thing I always have my scissors handy just in case for situations like those because I am a true professional. There it is, there it is. And there it is. And we're all out. See you later. Get out of here. Knocking things down on the way. Uh, we got Taker. Oh, he's got a little plastic thing to keep that going. See you later. Get out of here. All right, let's dissect this bad boy. And right off the bat, I see something I did not know was uh, that we'd have a cape with this one. This is the set with capes. Kane has a cape. Taker has a cape. All in on capes. You guys know me. I'm a big cape guy. A few years from now, when I'm like 60 or something like that, I'm going all in on the capes. Fall season, perfect time to wear a cape. Undertaker Kane, way ahead of the game there, like a young Darth Vader, Orlando Calrissian. Or name your superhero. That's kind of what they're like. Uh, but it's like the best of both worlds on this jacket here. It's got the vest, the long robe, uh, hard plastic, everything. And then you got the soft goods on the backside. Phenomenal. I love this. This is a great idea. I didn't realize this was soft material. Uh, so I do like this a lot. This is uh, takes it to the next level is what this is. So very, very cool. Then you get the gold and silver buckling. Uh, you know, not a lot of color here, but just enough color to make this thing pop. So all around, extremely awesome cape. I really like this uh, way, way more than I thought I would. I really do like this a lot. So that is very cool. You get down to the hands of the Undertaker. Now, no traditional fisted hands, which is just always upsetting to me. At least one fist. Come on, Mattel. We need one fist. These are wrestlers, after all. But you got two of the gripping hands, uh, ho holding hands on the figure. Then you get one hand that is, uh, you know, he's going to give a high five. If he needs to give Paul Bearer or Kane or any fan a high five, he's got the hand for it right there. And then you got two kind of C clamp hands, two gripping hands. Now, this is where I would have put at least one fist in here. Hey, that's just me. It's Ultimate Edition Undertaker. We should have at least all hand styles represented, shouldn't we? But then, saying that, they do give us something special that I'm not sure if we've got this before. I don't think so, but correct me if I'm wrong. But the Undertaker thumbs up because, you know, he was a big Jim Duggan fan at the end of the day. He loved it when Jim would say, ho, and that's why he did this in the back a lot, I think. But I could be just making that up, and this could be the old Arn Anderson uh, neck because we all know Taker did that as well. Arn Anderson made it famous, if you ask me. But I like this. I like that we can pose him, you know, given the old uh, kill signal there. So we got some interesting hands there. Would have liked to seen a fist. You guys know how I go with those. But then we'll look at this Taker figure first. Once again, big and bulky. Uh, these Ultimate Editions are great. They feel bigger. They feel more durable. Obviously, they got way more articulation. He does have an elbow pad on each arm there. Uh, and like I said, this is a version of the Undertaker of this Dead Man Undertaker, we'll call it, that I like. This is probably the best version of the Dead Man Undertaker throughout his career. Uh, how I chose to like Taker. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know what I'm getting to. You know, this head sculpt, I'm not sure if I like the best. Uh, his hair is off to the side and everything, but his neck sits up so high, uh, it looks funny. If you have the cape on, it looks okay, but with no cape on, uh, it looks like his hair is floating in the air, and that looks extremely goofy. So I would say if you're displaying it without the robe, without the cape, this is not the head sculpt for you. Tons of tattoo work on the taker. He's not messing around on these tattoos, as we all know. Uh, we got them all represented here. We got the color... Uh, put into him as well. Just very, very cool attention to detail there. You guys know I like that. Articulation-wise, we're, we're familiar with the Ultimate Editions enough. We've had enough of them. But you get the toe articulation. You get the ankle articula 
articulation up and down, side to sides. You got the boot cut, of course, double jointed knees. You got the thigh swivel, the, of course. You've got the waist swivel. You got the diaphragm. You got the bicep swivel. You got the removable hands and wrist. Uh, his gauntlets or his little wrist tape there, they are removable. If you take the hands off, if you want to slide those off, you can do that. Do we have the butterfly shoulders on this one? Yes, we do. So we got butterflies. And this is where the butterflies really do work because they're hidden by his vest he wears here. Uh, sometimes they look very unnatural and weird on a figure that uh, doesn't have a shirt on. Uh, but Taker does, so it looks okay to me. Uh, like I said, this is the head that looked very Michael Jackson-esque. That was a big gripe for a lot of people with this one, myself included when we saw prototype images. That's why I don't judge too hard on the prototype images and some of those shots. I like to view it at the table here. That's the true impression that matters. When it, the rubber meets the road and you have it at the table, and that's what we got with Taker here. And this one, still not my favorite head, but uh, it looks way better than we saw originally. We do get another head here is that Undertaker with his tongue out, his eyes rolled back. Uh, very, you know, Undertaker on his knees doing one of these, putting the head back and doing all that. I think the first time we saw this head sculpt might have been with Basic Series 100. Uh, a phenomenal Basic Series, and we'll do a deep dive video on that one day on the channel. There is so much to talk about Basic 100 between the variants, the specialness of it all. There's just a lot to talk about. We'll get to that video eventually. Uh, but you can use this head. I like this head. As it really is a point of difference. You get a resting head like we saw, and then you get one that's just all on blast he turned it up to 11 on this head and then you get the middle of the road undertaker head right here and that's what i'm going to pop on right now for and this is probably if you are just going to display this undertaker as is this is probably the way to go just this plain jane middle of the road head uh, that makes the most sense to me but man i wish this was a fisted right hand i just something about a fist on a figure be it a superhero or a wrestling figure just really adds a lot for me uh, and i'm sure some of you guys too he does look a little top heavy as far as his upper chest and everything and then his waist is awfully skinny uh he's got that v taper like uh, only a mr olympia would have uh, so it does look a little strange there. Obviously, I'm going to display this with the robe and cape on, so a lot of these will be hidden. But uh, as far as aesthetics-wise, when you look this straight on, I think the upper half looks a little bit big compared to the waist a little bit small. I think they should have widened that out a little bit. Uh, besides that, we're all black all over. You know, typical Undertaker. He's like a young Johnny Cash is what he's like. He's the man in black. But we see some of those crosses and kind of like rivets and bullets in there uh, going on throughout his outfit here. And I like that. A little touch of color. I got one little paint where they missed the black on the back, but you're not going to really be able to see that so bad. So as far as paint imperfections go, this one is pretty, pretty solid. I, I got to say, very solid across the board. Uh, the head sculpt looks good. The sideburns are on there. He's got his goatee going on. Uh, Multicolored goatee. It's a little bit more brown and red kind of up here, and then it's really dark and black down there. I believe that's how a Taker would have it. And then he's got his eyeliner on, of course, because Taker would never be seen without his great eyeliner out there. But all in all, a very, very solid figure. Let's put this uh, ringside collectible stand. Say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. But this Taker figure, extremely solid, I gotta say. It's uh, pretty cool to get this version. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get an Underbiker Ultimate Edition ever. I doubt we're gonna get a Mean Mark Callus Ultimate Edition, but Mattel did hear my whining over the last year and a half, two years, and they are gonna put Mean Mark Callus in the Legends line, Target exclusive, so be on the lookout for that. That's gonna be a tremendous figure coming in 2022, so you know I'm excited for that one. But I figured we'd compare it to another Taker with a cape and a robe going on. Uh, defining moments Undertaker. Uh, some might say the Holy Grail. Some might say the best Undertaker figure of all time. Uh, hard to argue with it. Very, very cool. The packaging of Defining Moments is great. This version of Undertaker with the soft goods cape is great. There's a lot of good Undertaker figures, but uh, this has got to be in anybody's top 10 list, I would have to imagine. But is this one? I'm not sure yet. Uh, it could be. It's too early to tell. I got to play with it a little bit. I got to let it kind of absorb into me for a while. But we'll see. This is a strong case for being in a top 10 Undertaker figure. And I think I've mentioned it before. Every Thursday we do a top 10, top 5 list on the channel. Uh, we're going to do a top 5 Biker Taker one day. And we will do a top 10 traditional Undertaker countdown. Uh, there's been enough Undertaker figures. He's a guy that definitely warrants a top 10. So we'll get that done one of these days. Maybe for next year's Halloween. Who knows? Who who knows? Uh, but The Undertaker, looking strong, looking good. I like this Ultimate Edition. I would pick this up in a heartbeat if you found it. Uh, buy it now or forever. Hold your peace or rest in peace, as The Undertaker would say. But what say you guys out there? Leave me a note in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this Undertaker Ultimate Edition. Do you like it better than the cane? Do you like it just as much? 
You guys tell me what you think about this one. Make sure you like this video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. You guys know we're unboxing every single Ultimate Edition and Elite uh, among everything else in the world on the channel. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And then uh, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And of course, Pro Wrestling Tees, search Kyle Peterson. So for The Undertaker, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.